perfect. Oh, we don't have time for this crap. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Hey, it's kinky. What is that? Two heads is better than one. It's not what I told you, Pete. Most people look at a stump, they see a stump. I see opportunity. My name is Steve Blanchard, and I'm a master chainsaw carver. Creating killer wood sculptures is my business. Together with my right-hand man, Pete Rieger, our apprentice, Ryan, and some of the best saw dogs around the globe, we always find a way to get it done. Eat, sleep, carve. It's what we do. Our client for this project is Poplar Grove Winery, and they want me to create a wine tasting table for their new brand of wine. Don't eat the guy's grape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, you're eating away the profits. Mm, that's so good. Mm. We have got a new brand called Monster, and Monster is kind of our fun group of wines, and we have a brand new site and this carving is gonna be the centerpiece. So it's a tasting bar. That's what we're looking for. This wine tasting bar that they want is gonna be the focal point of that home for monster wines. And we're gonna play off the theme of the legendary lake monster of the Okanagan Lake, which is called the Ogopogo. And this is an old native legend, and apparently there's sightings every couple of years of this thing. What we wanna do is leave it completely up to you guys. Okay. You surprise us and let's make something special. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do it. Yeah. Ryan's been bugging me to teach him how to carve something. A little more on this side. So I've decided to start him off with the absolute beginner's project of a mushroom. It doesn't get any easier than this. Round out the top. Kind of suck right now, but uh, I'm pretty hyped up. And I'm, uh, you know, get the blood flowing. I'm stoked. <laughs> Saw dogs, right? It's gonna bite in, it's gonna stop it from moving so much, right? Oh, yeah. oh I get it. Yeah, I want to try. Those dogs. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's a good first try. I just don't think it makes the cut, right? Not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not, it's that, not good. that good. So we'll give it a place of honor here in the moss where it looks natural. <laughs> it can just grow there, <laughs> rot there. Pete, you got company. Hey, it's Paul Frenette. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm particularly interested in fantasy carving. I like the dragons and wizards and things that are outside of real life. I read a lot of fantasy books, and so it allows me to bring a lot of my imagination to real life. Dee's gonna be directing this, or you, uh, you As a matter some... of fact, I'm just gonna leave my reputation with this guy right here. Oh, you're leaving your reputation with me. Much as I hate to do this, I have a project that I have to work on this week, so I'm gonna leave this one up to my trusty foreman, Pete Rieger. It's a big deal for him. It's the first time he's ever had this opportunity. Yeah, we won't let you down, man. We got a good crew here. You can leave it in our trusty hands. Kind of scares me. And uh, hopefully he doesn't blow this. Get some air in here. You got a nice view up the mountain. Oh, we bought Pete Ryan back for this commission, oh, and he'll be working with Paul Frenette. I always like carving. Saw somebody do it with a chainsaw one day. Thought I'd give it a try. And right away, somebody wanted to buy it. There seems to be no end to the growth of learning. Like a tree growing every year, you grow in your ideas, you grow in your knowledge, and it produces you into what you are today. I'm real excited to have both you guys here on this project. It's a high-end 
high-end commish. It's got to be beautiful. In this lake, the legend has it that there's a, like a sea monster, like Loch Ness monster. Here's an actual photo of the Ogopogo. Believe it or not, it's real. I want two heads on this thing. Steve's thinking we should keep it to one because we're pressed for time. And I'm thinking, no way, man. Two heads are better than one. It's an old saying. <laughs> These two heads are going to be sitting up like three feet tall. They'll be looking down on you. They're that big, right? So I think we can do it? Yeah. If Let's do it. They built Rome overnight, we can do it. Rome was <laughs> not built overnight. Steve really wanted us to keep it simple, just go with one head on the bar top. But that's not what we're about here in Saw Valley. You want to see Pee Wee Herman or do you want a KISS concert, man? We want it big, man. We're going for it. Let's go check out this wood pile. We've got a great pile of California redwood that's over 1,000 years old. We're going to need a few pieces to piece the whole bar together. <laughs> Solid as a rock. For the pedestal, we chose, it's a big, almost a half of a tree. So what we'll do is we'll use two pieces from the same log, so it'll make this big curved base. That's some slabs. Those can be our tabletop. Steve's got those set aside. We got three foot plus wine. No heart in there. Yeah, look at the grain on the top. That'll be a beautiful bar. As long as there's no big That's knots beautiful. or checks or uh, rot. We want a nice, solid, tight grain piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, Ryan, jump in the forklift. Let's get this thing over there. This has all been put on my shoulders today. I have to get six big pieces of wood all set up and ready to carve in the morning. Go real slow. Right now, I need to move the wood for the base to the carving pad so the guys can make the exact cuts. It needs to be completely level or it just won't work properly. Just push it back, right? Yeah. Woohoo! No! This guy's dangerous. Can you I can't really it as you drive it? much more in without right. digging myself down because Steve's forklift is not that good. commissioned us to create a wine tasting bar. We're talking like 75 thou. I have to get six big pieces of wood all set up and ready to carve in the morning. Oh, for we don't have time for this crap. Whatever, let's go. Time is money. Unbelievably, moron got the forklift stuck. You know, we're already hours behind today. I come over here to get the level, and the thing's buried up to the in the dirt. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Is there a way to dig it out? Yeah, it there's like a way to broken. dig it out. Right here. Get on it. Someone's got to be working here. We got to get all the pieces for the sculpture. There's like six big pieces. I've got nothing done today. You're going to dig yourself a deeper hole by doing that. Can't believe you guys didn't figure this out. All the brains you got around here. This is going to happen with this forklift all the time. No, it isn't. You got to learn how to drive it. I know you how to drive, drive it. You don't drive it in places I like that. I have 500 hours experience driving it. Trust me, that thing is not good. You don't have enough experience to learn not to do that. <laughs> Grab a truck, Whatever, pull man. it out. It's not my fault. It's just this ground is just pathetic. Try. Look at how big this forklift is. It just is not conducive to the environment. He'll just go slow. Give it to it. Whoa! Oh, 
This is gonna cost Steve a lot of money. It's probably gonna come out of my ass. Lift the forks uh, and put it in reverse, too. Anyway. You don't think this thing will flip, do you? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Yay. Yes, I'm out of here. See you later. Bye bye. It's getting dark, <laughs> and we're not where we need to be. If the team does not pull it together, we are not going to get this thing finished, and it's going to be my fault. All right, push. Poof, poof. We got the wood position this morning leveled up for the base. Push it together, try to make it a seamless hole. So we can work on getting that bar top on top, and then the head's on top of that. In the side view, your nose is going to be down here. The next stage is the blocking out stage, so we take a look at the design. Once you figure out those angles, basically you're going to cut away the wood you don't want. Surface too much. Yeah. That's awesome. That is. So I thought a fin coming down. If they're blocked, we can still run a few weeds over the dragon's body. Concentrate on your weeds, but leave me a six inch. Like this is going to be a ridge, right? There's scales that flop on the top. Now, somehow in there, I'm supposed to concept that he wanted weeds eight inches deep. They're not touch the dragon body, but I don't know where the dragon body's going because there's no top shot of it. Hey, look at that. I found for Ogo Pogo in this. Jeez. Did you catch a skate? <laughs> hey, skinky. Right. Ah! I hope he bit you. Oh, oh, he's got a grip. Yeah. Crumple Stillskin, what can I do for you? No braino. I got a little project for you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Take this thing right here. Even better. Get over there and cut a few of those bushes down so I can see what you guys are doing. What do you think of that? Mm. I got a lot of money invested in this thing across the street here. What's a little spying among friends, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like I'm betraying the guys. That's oh, perfect. Oh, the weeds yeah, first. Yeah, that's what you were supposed to be doing, is carving the leaves first. See, like, you got a picture in your mind, but it's not in my mind, eh? I know. So I'm trying to figure out here, OK, I know I, know I need weeds. I know I need them that deep. Yeah, I made it a little too tight there, but like I say, no picture, no concept. I can't bits. take any more meat off of here. No? No, I need that for the body. Right. OK. Gotcha. He's not grabbing my concept, and his idea is big and fat is taking up all the space. He does some nice stuff, but it's not what I want. You can't take any more meat off of here. Mm -hmm. No, I need that for the body. Yeah, I made it a little too tight there, but like you say, no picture, no concept. Picture's right over there. I know, but that's not show. All right. All that's good and don't show nothing. I think he should count himself lucky that there's even a drawing to go off of. It needs to be airy. Pete and Paul, trying to get them to work together. It's a little like Donny Osmond jamming with the stones, man. It's just not working. We're getting near the end of the day, and he drops us on the ground and walks off. It's like, well, I, you know, I'm an old guy and I can't carve that long. And it's like, okay, but <laughs> we still got to get the project done. 
I had enough, hey, four or five hours of that there 90 pound saw, you know. They're only using the little saws. I had to use the big saw. The guys are bickering a lot right now, and I just wanted to get out of their hair. I've screwed up enough this week. So I decided to make an Ogo Pogo, and then I'm gonna see if I can put it on the internet and make a viral video out of it, and then maybe even help Steve book some extra clients from, you know, people coming to explore the new Ogo Pogo of Saw Valley. Ogo Pogo's gonna eat you in a minute. <sighs> what cooler than to see our own Saw Valley Ogo Pogo. Yes, it's gonna work. What the heck? Come on! I just need to get this thing upright in the water so I can get a few swimming shots. All right. Ooh, that actually looks good. Hey, Ryan! Where's Ryan at? I don't know. Where is he? Ah. Well, I'm gonna film you floating away. Come on! The uh, finishing process, you got to do a lot of sanding, get down in all the cracks, and uh, you got to use special sanders. Sometimes even get in there and stick it with a piece of sandpaper on it. It's a very time-consuming piece. I mean, you can make as many swirls and curls as you want, but you got to get in there and sand them all out, eh? It's slow work, but it's what brings the beauty out in the wood. Steve's coming. Stash the head. Can't let him see it. Ogo Pogo. I think One Steve's going to love the bar. It's not exactly how he had designed it, but I think our design is better. It's a little bit out of balance. Where's the tail? <laughs> There's the tail. What is that? Two heads is better than one. Sometimes, you know, you got to defy authority to get the results you want. That's not a tail. That's not what I told you, Pete. When I tell you to do something, you got to do it. If you can't do it, you go home. What is that? Two heads is better than one. It's not what I told you, Pete. When I tell you to do something, you got to do it. If you can't do it, you go home. I did it. There's a tail. There's just an I'm extra head. I'm not going to stand here and argue with you. I told you I didn't want it, the head on there, man. I didn't come here to do something small, though. I want to do big. Just wait till you see it up there. Have a look. OK, let's check it out. Yeah. Seeing is better than believing. The balance. I know what you said, Steve, harmony. but they're going to love this thing, man. All right, you guys. Get back to work. I knew he would like it. <laughs> he's just pretending he's grumpy. He likes it. <laughs> this looks beautiful. I knew we'd finish it. <laughs> so did I. So did I. I know. That's what I said. It's like you got to go big. Right? You got to go Look big. at it. It's phenomenal. It's way over the top. Their clients are going to love it. And I think people are going to go there just to see the bar. This is sticking out way too far. I mean, when I oiled it, this was not showing at all. It was upsetting to me to see this flaw in there, because if the client notices anything, and I mean anything, it's not going to reflect well on me. I feel bad because this is my fault, and it never should have been overlooked. I trusted that whoever textured the base had finished the job, and that wasn't the case. They left out a spot. Hey, hey, you're gonna love this. 
this. Where, Where do you gonna, see this, this thing? It's insane. unbelievable. Oh, Come right. have a look. oh my God, look at that. Check it out. <laughs> Do the It's amazing. Steve, this is an incredible job. Unbelievable. I don't know how anybody <laughs> walks up to a stump and ends up with this. It's like, oh. Coming around the corner and seeing it sitting there, it was just mind boggling. It actually gave me goosebumps. That bar will live forever down there. And I, I think the bar will become a tourist attraction. Thank you. I don't want to take all of the credit for this project. You know, there was Pete Ryan and Paul Frenette, and it was Pete Rieger's project. But I'll take as much credit as I can get out of it, you know? Well, it's irresistible. I mean, it does feel, it feels great, yeah. actually. Yeah. You let the wood tell you what it wants to be, right? Like, you look at this one piece and say, yeah. well, that would never Paul's work. design, Pete's detailing. Everybody threw their hands in, and we got it done on time, on budget, and the client loved it. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. To Monster Bogo, and to the men who made her. To Bogo, Bogo. To the men who made her. Oh. Hey, Bear. That's right, Bear, what's up? I'm just kidding. That's right. Mess around with me. <laughs>